Hello beautiful people! Welcome to Becky's Favorite Things. As usual, I'm Becky. Um, so we have a bit of a weird video today. Kind of stuff that don't really go together. That's okay. I'm excited anyway. Um, I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is cloudy as usual in Oregon. We had a little bit of sun yesterday and that was amazing. But today is back to cloudy. A little bit of rain. That's okay. I'm used to it. It's Spring is coming though, I can tell. It's coming. Um, so, the first thing, I decided to do like a skin makeup-y themed one that's like multiple ones in one product. You'll see. So the, the, the first one is this lotion. It's the Hemp's Lotion. I love this stuff. It's so good. It makes my skin super soft and it smells really good. This, I don't know if they have like set specific scents that they list. I don't know. But they all smell good. I love them all. Um, and you should try this. Like, this is just a little travel version that I got when I go on vacation or away for the weekend. Um, but I also have a big version that I use every night on my legs and my arms and my whole body. <laughs> I was just, I would bathe in it if I could. Um, my other one is one you might have seen online, um, like in a previous video. I did the Winky Lux uh, Flower Balm, which I'm actually wearing right now. Um, this is the the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask, uh, a Korean beauty trend. It's really awesome though. I didn't think, I thought it was just kind of like a gimmick that it just bubbles and it's more of the funness of it that makes it kind of cool, but it actually is really, really good. It's almost like a tingling, stinging sensation and that always makes me feel like whatever it is isn't working. Uh, it might be just kind of a placebo effect, which is fine by me, but it was actually really cheap. It was five or six dollars maybe, um, with just a little bit of shipping, nothing big, and I got it on Amazon, uh, so it wasn't, it didn't take too long either, but it's got like a little scoop thing, and you just put it on your face, and then after a while it starts fizzing and it makes like, it kind of looks like fuzz, like you have like a fuzzy face. It's pretty funny. Um, my husband and I did it together. I made him do it and it was just funny. We had a good time. So if anything, it's fun and I, I recommend trying it just for the experience and just to say that you did it. It's pretty fun. And I have another face mask. This one I use all the time and I absolutely cannot live without it. I'm almost out so I'm gonna have to get more. But it's the Peter Thomas Roth face mask thing. I'm not into skincare. I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. Nothing. Um, I have a friend who has a YouTube channel, Sees Beauty Blog, and he got me into skincare because I went with him all the time. I go with him all the time to to Sephora or Ulta and we'll just like do skincare and he'll just say all right put this on your face and I just do it um he did my makeup and my skincare for my wedding which he also officiated and he for a week before the wedding he was like all right do this to your face do this to your face and then the day before the wedding he came over for a couple hours and we just like put stuff on my face I don't even know what I don't remember anymore and then the day of the wedding, we spent three hours just like preparing my skin. It was crazy. I will see if I can link that video, uh, if he'll let me. <laughs> but I will also link his YouTube channel in the comments. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but this mask is amazing. It's just, if I kind of feel like I might have a pimple or something coming up, I'll put this face mask on so that it just kind of forces that process of like getting it come to the surface and go away <laughs> and um so I'll put this on if I know it's coming just to like get rid of it it's really 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 hydrating it doesn't dry out like most masks and I find that if I leave it on for long enough I can just like go like this to my face and like rub it off instead of having to like wet my face and like try to rub it off because it's it is really thick um the other thing that I I'm sure you could watch other YouTube videos that would be more trustworthy, <laughs> that are specifically like review videos for this product, but I'll just give you a brief overview. So I subscribe to Ipsy, which is the makeup monthly subscription bag, um, and so this is the one I got for this for the month of January, and 
each month you get a makeup bag, which is awesome, but now I've got like 20 makeup bags that I don't really know what to do with. Eh. <laughs> there could be worse problems. Um, so this month I got a brush. I get a lot of brushes and again I'm not a makeup person so I honestly don't really know what to do with half of these things that I get. I should probably review the products and tell them if I like them or not because then they actually change what they give you based on your reviews. But I'm lazy and I don't do that. But I should. Um, the other thing I got, which I actually do love, is this Trust Fund Beauty lip gloss, which apparently is like a really awesome makeup brand that I didn't know about, but I got it. I don't know. Um, this is the Lipgasm lip gloss, the Method to the Madness shade. I really like it. I prefer lip gloss to lipstick. Again, I, I don't really like lipstick. It's always dry, and I don't like having dry lips. Much more of a balm or lip gloss person. The other thing is this real chemistry like peel. It's a three minute peel and I used it once and it's supposedly it's supposed to get rid of the dead skin on your face. You put it on with a little bit of warm water and you just like rub around and then you get little granules of dead skin. And I'm a little skeptical about whether that's actually dead skin or if that's just some water activated particle in it that like thickens to make you think that it's your dead skin and it's doing something magical. I don't know. Either way, it's a nice little peel. It's a nice little cleanser. It makes you your skin feel a little more vibrant after you finish. And the last thing, there's one more thing but I can't find it. I'm not sure where it went or what it was so obviously it wasn't that great. But it's a BB cream and again <laughs> I don't really know what you use this for. I should ask somebody <laughs> or look it up because I don't know. But it's Smashbox, which I've heard is a very good brand. So maybe somebody can enlighten me in the comments about what I use this for. I'd like to know. Um, so my next thing is <laughs> a little funny. I've mentioned before that I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Huge. Huge. <laughs> it's a little scary sometimes. So the first thing I'm going to show which I'm sure other Harry Potter fans know about and probably have, but I have my Harry Potter bookmark collection. This is the Horcrux bookmark collection. So there is a, well, <laughs> a bookmark. There's two missing because they're in books right now. A uh, bookmark collection of all the different Horcruxes. And the cool thing is that they're, um, if I can get it out, they're like little 3D ones. And on the back, they have a little clip. So like, here's the locket. Um, I have a couple missing, as I said, because I have the ring missing and the lightning bolt, which signifies Harry Potter. Spoiler alert. Um, and I kind of like them. They're, they are 3D, so they're, they're more like a collector thing. I don't use them in every book. I just, I was missing a bookmark, so I decided to use these ones. Um, there are certain ones that are better as bookmarks than others, because um, I don't want to, like, bend the pages. If I use, like, this locket one, it would create like an, an indentation in the pages and I don't like that. I don't like ruining my books. But I love the bookmark collection. This was another Christmas gift that I got a few years ago. And this other one, I every time I go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which has only been twice, <laughs> I make sure that I get uh, one of those collector wands that they have. So the last time I was there I got Hermione's wand, which is at my parents' house right now. I don't have it with me. But then this last time, I got um, Dumbledore's wand, or the Elder wand, and it comes in... It's so exciting. You can actually go to the wand store, but there were so many people in there. Um, they have little carts where you can get them too, but again, those are so packed. So I actually went to the, the store that's um, at the beginning of the park. This is the one in Florida. The beginning of the just the main Universal Park. Um, where they have a lot of the Harry Potter products and they have this huge wall of just wands um, and you pick which one you want. So I got Professor Dumbledore's and it says that on the bottom. And open it. You have this little... Uh, I can get it. Oh. Okay. You have this little nice presentation of his wand, and then of course if you're me you just take this out 
so who's gonna have it just be collector um and that's the wand and it's awesome and now i have the elder wand um and the next thing is another little nerdy thing so i am a student at oregon state university and i am an english major so a lot of my interests are in books any book it doesn't matter the genre doesn't matter the kind doesn't matter the author not i books i just collect them i have books and books and books and books and so many bookshelves just filled with books and this one is probably this wins for my most beautiful book it's the complete pelican of shakespeare's works it's in this beautiful beautiful book um the way it's bound is just amazing it's got like one of those awesome bookmarks that are built in that's a ribbon like if you if it if your book has a ribbon you know you know it's good you know it's fancy so this is seen this is seen many days it's got beautiful illustrations and it's got like those thin pages those like bible like thin pages so you know it's good too because it's like thin so there's a lot of it because i mean this thing is is thick imagine lugging this around to class with you every day because i had to do that and it's not fun but the book is beautiful and it's got um all of his plays all of his poems all of his sonnets everything it's got everything in here it's got some um essays too if you like critical essays so this has seen many uh many classes i've got lots of little notes in here from when we we went over plays in my Shakespeare class. This is The Merchant of Venice. Um, and I've got the tabs everywhere from the stuff that we read and that we talked about or notes on where I should stop and stuff. So this is Hamlet too where I've got like little marks and everything. Um, just a little thing that I like. One of my favorite books because of how beautiful it is. It kind of stands out from the rest of the books on my shelves um, that where this one goes it's got like the maze runner on one side and like the Martian on the other side and then right there is just Shakespeare so it's very weird but I absolutely love this it's I think it's just beautiful I like having beautiful books um and that is it for today I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day I'm going to enjoy the gloomy weather <laughs> if I can maybe see a movie um, and as usual, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, and um, subscribe to my channel. Share this with your friends. Get the word out there that I have crazy interests and I want you to have my crazy interests too. Embrace your wonderful selves. Have a beautiful day.